Hello, in this video, I'm going to be explaining to you all about the new content clarifiers that are available in AWARE online testing. Now, AWARE classifies these types as text, images, tables, links, and GIFs, and I'm going to be showing you how to attach those in AWARE. These are meant to imitate the content and language supports that are provided by TEA on the online STAR assessments in the form of scaffolded directions, assistance with tracking, graphic organizers, simplified language, and as well as graphic, graphic representations of vocabulary and concepts. These are available on STAR and STAR Spanish, and on the STAR test, they're determined by Section 504 Committee, ARD Committee, and LPAC. But on our local assessments, of course, you can provide them also to RTI students and other students that you're collecting assessment data for. So to provide content clarifiers, I'm going to be going into an assessment that I or someone on my team has created on the assessment tab, drill down to the assessment and open it. And we are going to be on the questions tab and we are not going to be in edit mode on the questions. So just to let you know, you can add content clarifiers to resources and questions, but at this time you cannot unfortunately add them to answer choices. So let's say I'm looking at this passage and I want to give a content clarifier for the word, the word daring. Maybe I don't think my students are going to be able to understand that as well, so I'm going to select it. Once I let go of my mouse, I have the option to add a new clarifier and I can either add text, pictures, a table, a GIF, or a link if I would like. So for this cl clarifier, I'm going to enter some text and I'm going to give some simplified language, something that would be easily substitutable by the student that would make sense in the passage. And so therefore, I'm going to give them the word exciting. Once I type whatever word or words I want to do, of course, I have all the options for formatting. If I would like to bold or underline any anything that I would like to do, I can I can do that in this clarifier. But once I'm finished, I'm going to hit create. And then you will see this blue underline and it'll pop up and it'll just remind you what that clarifier was exciting. If you would like, you can always edit it and change anything you would like if you need to add anything and then update if you add. The next time you add a content clarifier, oops, be careful how you select it. Sometimes that can affect the text to speech. I'm gonna have add new clarifier or add existing clarifier as an option. This time, add a new clarifier. And again, I wanna choose something that's going to replace easily as the students are reading it and I click create. The good thing about these content clarifiers is they are reusable within the test. So if you scroll down and you find another spot where the same clarifier would up be applicable, you can select that as well, add existing clarifier, and then choose the word that was in the passage or in the question that you want to attach that same clarifier for. And I click add clarifier. Now, when I hover over that, it'll say the same clarifier as this one. Now be careful that you know what your questions are, are asking on this assessment and that you don't provide any clarifiers on um, words that are going to be asked in the questions. A useful content clarifier that you can add on an AWARE online test is a pre-reading text that directly mimics the pre-reading text available on STAR online tests. For our students who also receive text-to-speech, we would want this content clarifier in the, in the pre-reading text to be read aloud to those students. However, because it would be attached to the resource, it would not be read to the students. And so one useful tip is to come to our first question. I'm going to attach it to my first word. I'm going to highlight it, add a new a clarifier, and I'm going to get my pre-reading text that I've already typed out, a basic summary or basic introduction about what the story it's going to be about, I'm going to add this here and click create. I can also add content clarifiers to the questions. So say for example, I want to provide the actual wording from paragraph nine. I can select the words paragraph nine, add a new clarifier, and then paste in that text and click create. Now when the students hover over paragraph nine, it will actually show them paragraph nine, just like it would on the actual online star test. You can also add images 
is content clarifiers by selecting the text in the question or in the passage. Add new content clarifier. This time you're going to use the image tool. Choose a file and navigate to your file. Once you have your image, insert file. You'll see your image here and you can click create. So then when students get to this, they will hover over that and see an image. You can also add image content clarifiers to uh, the questions. So I'm going to click on the insert file, navigate, And anytime you're inserting images into a question, those images, if they have any alternate text, could be read aloud to the students. So I'm gonna double click, because that's how I get to my alternative text. And even if there's nothing that you want read aloud to the student, definitely make sure that you clear out the word that is gonna be imported in there. It's usually the file name. So backspace and press OK. Then create. So now let's go take a look at what some of those online, those content clarifiers are gonna look like for the students in online testing. So I come to the online tab and preview online testing. When I come to my passage, I look for any of those blue underlined words and um, the content clarifier will be above it. So notice that this word, exciting, there is no text to speech for that because that's for the passage. The students are still expected to read everything in the passage and therefore their content clarifiers will not be read to them. However, when they come to content clarifiers like this in the question, and they hover over it, you'll see a speech bubble. And if I clicked on this speech bubble, it would actually read all of that text to the student. When I hover over this content clarifier, I have my image, and if you have any text-to-speech uh, provided, the student can click there. But if you've cleared out the text-to-speech, they'll have that notification. To view the pre-reading text, you're going to need to model this process and train your students to look for question one for that first word in the sentence in the question so that they can find that pre-reading text and then uh, listen to the text-to-speech before they start reading the actual passage. Once you're finished looking at all of your content clarifiers in online testing preview, click close. And one other thing to, be, to know about is this button right here, Content Clarifiers, you can actually review all of the words that you underlined that are going to have a content clarifier provided 